I understand the excitement around new products launching every year and the temptation to upgrade, but hold off for now. What Nvidia announced this year at CES 2025 is for us gamers and content creators awesome and certainly made a lot of us excited. 4090 performance at the price of a 4070, up to 4K 240Hz 10-bit video, a two-slot RTX 5090, I mean better sounding it can be, right? Most of us who are still on the 3000 series GPU lineup or maybe recently upgraded to the 4000 series don't really have much to lose. Considering at how much unoptimized today's games are, it's only a waste of money for people to upgrade yet again for FOMO. I personally upgraded 5 months ago to a 4070 Super and to be honest, all my games have been running just fine on high settings on 1440p. Yet to see for real world benchmarks to see if the promised benchmarks match what they marketed. If you are a long time gamer and still using a GTX 1000 series or a 2000 series cards, or you're coming from Team Red and are curious to try out Team Green and you've got the budget, this might be a worthwhile upgrade. While Intel recent CPUs haven't been particularly impressive, their GPUs have made surprising strides, especially in the lower end market where many gamers focus. It's encouraging to see more competition and added value in this segment. That said, it's worth waiting to see how the market evolves by mid-year. This approach could benefit the average gamer, offering more budget-friendly options for those looking to upgrade without breaking the bank. In summary, it's wise not to sell your GPU right away or rush to pre-order the new 5000 series. Real-world benchmarks will be available soon as they often provide a clearer picture than marketing claims. It's easy to get swept up in the hype, but waiting ensures you get the best value for your investment. For context, last year's RTX 4070 Ti offered performance close to the RTX 3090 but with some added features like better ray tracing and the LSS3 support. Still, the generational leap wasn't as massive as some expected. In my view, the pace of innovation in hardware has really slowed with many upgrades feeling more incremental than revolutionary. Companies like Nvidia and Apple tend to focus on refining existing technologies rather than delivering groundbreaking changes every generation. While the latest products often come with exciting features, they may not always justify the high price tag for users who already own capable hardware. If you're somebody who values performance per dollar or doesn't need cutting edge features immediately, waiting for benchmarks, reviews and potential price drops is a smarter move. Upgrading makes sense when your current hardware is limiting your needs, not just because a newer model exists. With that said, subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see y'all in the next video.